Hi, welcome back. Well, today I'm going to talk all about eyebrows because I get so many comments whenever I post about this on my Instagram. So one of the things that I've learned over the years is that if you can darken your eyebrows, especially as we age because they tend to fade, you get lots of greys, they're sparser, then it can instantly give you a brighter, more lifted, more youthful look. So I did a post recently where I showed how I use moustache dye to dye my eyebrows. I had lots of comments about that, lots of people doing the same thing. Moustache dye, they actually say on the pack, don't use for your eyebrows, and that's because it hasn't been tested for use around the eye area. But when you think about it, you're using it here on your face instead of here on your face. So it's not a huge amount of difference, but you do have to be super careful. Whatever you choose to dye your eyebrows though, I would say you absolutely have to do a patch test first. So you can just do a little bit on the corner of your elbow, perhaps leave the inside where you can't really see it. Wait for at least 24 hours to see if you have any reaction because of course you can react to all sorts of different things, especially if it's the first time that you've done it. So I've got a couple of things. This is the Just For Men moustache dye. Now I use this, I use maybe a medium brown or sometimes a dark brown. I think it's good to go a little bit darker than your normal color because you really want to have that kind of pop, that bit of emphasis to give you shape and frame around the eyes. But I've also got here the special Eyelure Dye Brow, clever name. So that's the tint that they make for brows. It's not the same as eyelash dye. Do not use it on your eyelashes. Don't use eyes remote on your eyelashes. This is specially for your brows. Now the difference, of course, is it's a lot more expensive. So the Eyelure one, you get a little tube like this, whereas the moustache dye, you're getting, I mean, at least twice as much. So it's up to you. If you want to play safe, then absolutely go for the dial your one. They both work in a very similar way. So what you do is you have your activator and your die. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of each into the mixing tray. Use about the same, that one needs piercing actually, there's the lid, there we go. Um, the same amount of each to activate the actual dye. It's a bit like hair dye. And so you mix that together with the Eyelure one, they give you a little kind of mascara brush to paint it on. And you can use the end just to mix the colour together like that. So it's a similar process if you're using the moustache dye. Now the moustache dye comes with a moustache brush, which I don't use, obviously for eyebrows. You want to be much more precise. So I actually use, I've got it here. I use an eyeshadow brush. So I use a little brush like this because you can be much more precise with it. Now it's a really good idea to just make sure that you don't get any of the dye under the brows. So I'm gonna use a cotton bud and I'm just gonna use a little bit of balm or you can use a bit of Vaseline just to go under the eye where you don't want the dye to take. So you don't want it to get onto the skin. That just means that if you do get any that kind of drizzles downwards, it won't it won't catch, the colour won't stay on the skin. So you just kind of can go around the eye area. But I find to be honest, using an eyeshadow brush makes the whole thing a lot more precise and a lot easier. So I've mixed up my dye. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use my eyeshadow brush because I just think you get a better result with it, to be honest, and pick up a reasonable amount of colour like that. If you can, use a magnifying mirror and just brush it on really lightly and make sure you're standing in a good light as well. That is really the key. And I find that particularly these little hairs at the end they're the ones that tend to be slightly invisible and mine are quite sparse from years of overplucking when I was younger. I say to my daughters now, please don't overpluck your brows. You may think it looks cool now, but you will regret it later because if you overpluck, you can actually mean, you know, make the follicles not want to regrow ever. So I'm going to Paint this on. Now it says for this one, leave on five to 10 minutes. The longer you leave it on, the darker the effect. So if you're new to this, you might just want to leave it on for the shorter time. 
you know, if it's not dark enough, you can always go back and do it again. There's nothing to stop you doing a second round. The moustache dye I find takes much more quickly. That's like five minutes and you're done. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes and show you what we do then. Okay, so that's been on for five, six minutes. I've got a couple of pre-dampened cotton pads just with plain water. And I'm just gonna press that really firmly against my brow and then gently lift that cleanly away, just like that. And then do the other side. And you might find actually that you just need to go over a little bit more just to get rid of any last bits of residue, kind of give them a bit of a, a bit of a rub, just gently. And there you have darker brows. But actually it doesn't end there because there's a couple of other little things that I'll share with you just to shape the brows. I mean, obviously plucking is really important so the key thing, let me find my tweezers, is use a really good pair of slanted tweezers and don't pluck, if you can help it, beyond the top of the nose here. So go from here onwards. And if you're not sure where that is, you can take a pencil and just kind of look like that. That's where it starts. And then it's quite nice to elongate that if you can. So they say that you should never pluck above your eyebrow, pluck underneath to create that little arch if you need to, or you can use wax as well. You can get little waxing strips just to kind of whisk away those dark hairs. Because you may find actually that after you've dyed your brows, that these little hairs underneath become a little bit more visible. So it makes them easier actually, just to, just to pluck away. The other thing that you could try is a dermaplane. And this is a really safe little facial razor. You normally use it just to take away the vellus hair. That's the really, really fine baby soft hair. No, it doesn't grow back thicker. Um, but you can use it just to shape here if you want to. I mean, obviously your brows are going to grow back, but it can really help just to get that nice little arched shape. But remember, less is more. Okay, they take ages to grow back. <laughs> so just be really gentle and really careful. And then one last thing that I like to do actually is just to fill in, if you've got any sparse brows or any kind of bald patches, this is the Studio 10 pencil. It's called Brow Lift Perfecting Liner and they only do one shade, so you can't go wrong. If you need it to be very dark, you just apply more, but otherwise it works really well. It's a lovely kind of greyish brown color. And you can use this just to sort of fill in with feather weight, little pencil strokes, almost like recreating the look of hair on your brow. And what I do is I use this to just lengthen the look of my brow. So I just take that very gently, just to give me a slightly longer kind of chicer look. And I'll do that on the other side, just like that, really quick and easy. But, you know, if you do it carefully, it's almost imperceptible, but it just gives you that extra little shape. And then last but not least, it really helps to frame the face and to wake up the eyes if you can keep your eyebrows brushed upwards. So I've got a little brow comb here, it's a lash and brow comb. So you just comb your eyebrows upwards. And then you could use a brow gel to set them in place. But what I do is I cheat. I just use a little bit of hairspray, just sprayed onto the brush and just use that, just brush that through really gently. And just as hairspray keeps the hair here in place, it will keep your brows in place as well. There you go, let's have a look in the magnifying mirror. Yeah, much better, much brighter, much fresher. What do you think? Do you dye your brows? Do you do any brow care? What are your tips? Drop me a comment below. Always love to hear. I'll see you next time.